African American turncoat who would rather take the night off than face somebody like Ken Dixon. And you just saw the power from Colton Charles right there. The only thing similar is that both men were bigger than Ken Dixon. So if Ken Dixon was, faint, you know, preparing to face someone bigger than him, well, he's got him right here in Colton Charles. Oh. And Fireman Tager from Colton Charles. Oh, you're not going to show off in front of him. This is where inexperience comes into play, Ricky, because uh, I don't think he knows who he's in the ring with. Now he probably just took the call from Alec Odin. Odin offered him a spot. Mm -hmm. And Colton Charles took it. But he's in there making his MCW debut against a former Raid champion, former heavyweight champion. The well, he feels he has the strength advantage. Listen, yeah, he Ken, might. Ken Dixon's no slouch. I mean, he's in the best physical condition he's ever been in right now. He may not have the size of Charles, but oh, and you can see you, Charles saying that he's playing the mental mind games with Ken Dixon. Pick a hand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, problem, the problem is you keep doing that. And Trench is going to get more pissed. That's exactly what happened. That's why I said, I don't think he realizes who he's in the ring with. Oh, and how's that for strength, youngster? Ken Dixon just soaking in the adulation from the MCW fan. You got to mess with the bull, you get the horns. And also, we can't forget that Golden Charles is very fresh in this matchup, where Ken Dixon, he had a matchup last night oh. against Jeff Gaines. Oh, watch out here. Oh! oh. Unique belly-to-belly -belly suplex there, and wow. Somehow Dixon kicked out. I don't know how, because that could have broken a rib or something. Uh, so yeah, you can see the pain on the face of the former heavyweight champion. Oh, yeah, the way that he landed was not good. And now Charles is going to take advantage of this. And Colton has him right where he wants him, and that's underneath his boot. And it's just going to mount him, driving right hand after right hand to the side of the head. Well, Ken Dixon's hurt, I'm telling you. After that suplex, he hasn't been the same. He said may have broken a rib. Definitely going to affect the breathing. And Ricky, Ken Dixon's got a history of injuries. Has that neck injury that a lot of competitors target. Well, Charles is trying to, you know, start a new injury here. Oh, oh just may do that with those kidney shots. Oh, right back to the rib area. see Colton Charles just staying on top of Ken Dixon not giving him much room to breathe oh look at this suplex, yes. oh. suplex. when have you ever seen Ken Dixon thrown around like this uh, not, honestly not since RJ the Bruiser Meyer cover give Alec Oden credit I don't know where he found Colton Charles but Found a, he got a good pickup here. Yeah, he found himself a specimen here that he has brought into MCW to take apart Ken Dixon, and Colton Charles is doing just that. Oh, looking for that oh. wrench. Yeah, he just muscled Ken Dixon off the oh. ground. Just deadlift. Yeah, you can, and you heard, you heard it. It was uh, explicit, but that was impressive. Ken Dixon was on the mat, and he deadlifted him up to get that suplex. And Dixon hasn't gotten up yet. Yeah, he is trying. He is just sucking wind at this point. You can see Colton Charles just admiring his handiwork. Look out. Oh! That may have been the opening that Dixon needed. Colton took a little too much time. And it allowed Ken Dixon to roll out of the way. Oh, oh now Ken Dixon. 
dancing. Dancing with what brung them here. Yeah, last thing you want to do is talk traffic then Dixon, because they'll pop you right in the mouth for it. Oh, the, oh, right back to that midsection. How smart is that, Ricky? He's been working on that midsection this entire match, and now he's going for the submission. Looking for the submission, just looking to squeeze all the air out of Ken Dixon. But Dixon, with those elbows to the back of the neck. Oh, the cold right back to him. That is a smart move. With a man who is big and powerful as Colton is. Oh, Dixon ringing his ears. Dixon with that bell clap. Just enough of an opening. Oh, that power slam. Oh, only a two count. Don, I don't know about you, but I'm actually impressed with how Colton Charles has been able to hang in this matchup with the former heavyweight champion. Oh, I agree. You just debuting here at MCW, making your uh, first ever matchup against Ken Dixon. He's holding his own. Making your debut against the franchise of MCW. Oh, the team of suplex. He's got to avoid those, though, if he wants to be successful. That T-Bone handed down to Ken Dixon from the original franchise of uh -oh. MCW, RJ the Bruiser Meyer. This might be over in a hurry. Ken looking for his best move. But Colin Charles still too powerful. Oh, my God. Oh. And he landed on the back of his neck. And we just talked about that. This could be over. Not a lot of authority on that kick out though, Ricky. No, Ken barely able to roll that shoulder out. Taking that hit from the front, landing on the back of his head and back of his neck. I'm starting to wonder how much damage has really been done to Ken Dixon. Because he landed awkwardly on the back of his neck right there. You talked about Alec Odin making a great pick for his substitute. It is showing right here, right now. But the veteran instincts from Ken Dixon may have worked out in his favor. Looking for his best move. Into the cover. Ken Dixon victorious.